Okay, what's going on guys? It's been a while and I have not really been keeping up with React Native because my job mostly is in React now. But I came across this article a couple weeks back and, oh, only a couple days back. And um, I want to share this new experience with you all and let's get into it. Okay, so what are we talking about? We're talking about React Native 61. And it looks like in React Native 61, it came with, first of all, it's pretty, Dan Abramoff released this article. It's pretty fucking great. Okay. Um, Church of Dan. <laughs> so we'll see how it goes. Um, so, so the new thing that happened here is the fast refresh. And apparently that's one of the common pain points that's been addressed. So I don't really understand what this fast refresh means. They said they're unifying existing live loading, reload on save, and hot loading feature into a new feature called fast refresh. So fast refresh um, has like these like features, but let's watch this video and let's see let's see what it actually means. So. Okay, so we're making some CSS adjustments. Okay, and then it crashes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cannot find variable absolute. Okay. Okay. So is it on save that this happens? Cannot find variable add measure, yes. Uh huh. Okay. Mm hmm. What? Props, props, okay. Is there a sound for this? Am I missing something? There's no sound for this. Okay, I don't know what this video is talking about. Like I, I don't know what's going on. Uh, so refresh tips, fast refresh preserves React local state and functional components by default. If you need to reset React state on every edit, you can add special on refresh reset command, fast refresh remounts class components without preserving state automatically retries re-rendering after you, okay, fast refresh automatically retries re-rendering a file after you save. So you don't need to reload the app manually after fixing a syntax or runtime error. Um, I'm not aware of the fact that you need to reload the app before. So debug statement during edits is a neat debugging technique, okay? So, uh, I'm not sure what uh, uh, benefit that this fast refresh is adding. All right, if you know, please show me. Uh, maybe I will play around with it, but right now it, it seems like um, it's like a nice to have for developers. But what's, I mean, in general, like I feel like like I saw the recent announcement on Twitter about React Native's um, architecture moving forward. And it seemed like um, the Fabric 
and turbo module. Turbo module is going to come soon. Um, fabric and the synchronous uh, architecture. That's actually going to come sometime next year. So um, I, I thought it was going to come sooner than that. So I don't know how I feel about it. Um, I was hoping all of this can happen sooner. Um, but uh, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Um, also, my opinion for Flutter has changed. I tried Flutter. It's actually kind of fun. Uh, it's a very different way of building uh, mobile apps. It's much more closer to um, native implementation, whereas um, React Native is, feels very close to React. So I think that advantage is, I want to say, truly invincible. But yeah, but they're kind of slow and uh, a lot of people are not using it. So we'll see where Flutter gets and we'll see where React Native gets. Um, Till next time.